Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you something brand new from Revolution and it is the Creative Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. So looking at this closely you can see that it is inspired by peacock feathers and I must admit that this design is probably my favourite of anything that they have released. It is stunning. I just think they've really outdone themselves with this design. And then when you turn it over, you have got an indication there of what these shades are going to be like, as well as all of the ingredients there. And it is cruelty free and vegan as well. You are getting 24 shades in this palette at 0.017 ounces or 0.5 grams of product. So that's the outer packaging. You can pick this palette up from either revolutionbeauty.com or superdrug.com as well. Now, you've seen the outer packaging looking beautiful. Does that design run onto the inner palette? Well, let's have a look. And of course, Revolution has not let us down. This is stunning. And oh, I just love it. You can also feel the design, so it is slightly raised. It just feels quality to me. So you've got Revolution running through there and then turning it over. Similar detailing to what's on the back of the packaging there. So Revolution, Creative One. The shades are numbered, cruelty free and vegan, and then all your detail there, so weight and how many shades you're getting as well as the ingredients. So let's open this up and have a little look inside. Now you do have a mirror with this one. It is a large mirror, the size of the lid, and it is a good mirror. Turning it over, you've got all of these shades here. So very similar to what's on the front there. The, you know, you've got that pop of turquoise there and all of these beautiful colours. What I really like about this palette is that you have got a mix. So you've got neutrals, you've got everyday colours that you may need, but you've also got those pops of colour, just like a peacock feather. So when you look at a peacock feather, you've got, it's, it's quite deep, it's quite, um, mysterious and then you've got those pops of colour like the is it like an eye um, at the top and I just think it's absolutely stunning so yeah you've got all of these beautiful shades so if you are a little bit worried about colour hopefully I'm going to help you with that today I'm going to create something that's wearable I have no idea at the moment what I'm going to create so um, but I know that I'm going to obviously make it I'm going to use the colours in here, but I'm going to make it wearable. And I know that a few of you out there are a little bit wary of colour, um, but it has made my day. I think one or two of you have actually let me know in the last week or so that you have started wearing more colour rather than the nudes and that really like I say makes my day so let's go through these swatches okay we're starting off with this shade here and also what I will say is again with um, as with other revolution palettes you're getting a mix so you're getting some lesser well you're getting shimmers but they're less shimmery and then some of them are more intense but you're getting a mix here um, so this one is inventive. It is a shimmer, but it's not as intense as the next one, which is creative, that beautiful yellow, which I'm obsessed with. And then the next one is um, Epitome, and that is a matte orange. Then you have Abstract, which is a matte peach. We then have Avant Garde, which is a shimmery. It's a strange shade because it's brown, but it's got a little bit of, I don't know, silver, that kind of shade, like a yeah like a brown with a silver running through it and that's obviously a shimmer avant-garde you've got inspired which is this beautiful turquoise shade there you've got artistic which is a like a bronze shimmer and then the last one is your neutral brown matte which is called flawless so there's that one the next row starts off with exquisite that beautiful shade there stunning it's like a plum about it is a shimmer you've got that bright pink that vibrant pink there called color and then we have a navy shade called individual that's matte that one and that one is matte we then have this matte yellow right in the middle called trendsetter then we have another it's like a golden more gold i think and that is like a golden bronze and that's called prize love that then we have a matte pink a baby pink called quirky 
We then have a matte orange called Dex <laughs> Dexterous. <laughs> um, and then we have New Era, which is one of those beautiful plum shimmers that I'm obsessed with. Then, um, is this the last row? Yep. Yeah. We then move on to Possession, which is a shimmery orange. We then have Divination, which is a shimmery peach. We then have a very, very, very vibrant orange called um, ter Territory. Um, ter yeah, I think that's what it is anyway. Um, they choose such strange names. Okay, Magic Trick is the next one, another matte shade. We then have a Visionary, which is again another matte orange. We then have the matte black called Black Heart. Perceptive, which is again another um, shimmery, it's plum, but it's much more violet. Um, absolutely stunning. And then Formative, which is your matte purple. So there are all of your shades. So like I say, you've got a real mix in here. So you have got a mix of you know neutrals with those pops of color and just stunning love it um i have got some favorite shades in here already i really love of course that shade creative i also love this shade here called perceptive love that um i also like new era which is that one there um i also like this one here possession um, I don't know whether to use that today, but obviously we'll get into that in a moment. So I'm going to start off with this sh uh, brush from Profusion. Loved this um, in yesterday's video. And I'm going to start off with, what should I start off with? I think a flawless. So um, and I'm turning it upside down because of the mirror, obviously. Um, where are we? So it's this one here. So flawless. So let me pack that on. What I will say is... Now I've mentioned this in a lot of videos recently um, because I have been trying out a lot of eyeshadows. These mattes, in fact actually all of the shadows in here kick up a little bit. Um, but what I will say is that I only just touched the palette and I've got a lot of product on here. So this, I'm, well, it's gonna be good, I can already tell. So I've already primed my eyes, I've got my brows on, I've got my base on, I've got my blush and my contour on. Um, so let's just see, ooh. Now, I wasn't expecting that. It's very pigmented, so I'm going to blend it up a little bit. That is very pigmented. So I'm going to take it up a little bit. I might have to get another brush just to blend that out. But yeah, wasn't expecting that at all. So I'm just going to pack the brush with a little bit more and go onto the other eye. better this one way 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 too much product so let me just get a brush and blend that out a little bit it's just a brush with nothing on like that that's fine I'm just going to put a little bit more on the other side Beautiful, love it, love the colour. Gorgeous, okay. Now I'm going to swap to a Primark Eye Contour brush because I want to go more into the crease. So I've started off with quite a vibrant and it's still not high enough. It looks higher on the other side. Let me just take that. I think I've probably blended it out a little bit too much. There we go. I think I'm going to go in with Possession and Divination actually. Um, so these two on the lid. So what do I want in the crease? I want to deepen it up slightly. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. What shall I do? Should I go in with a blue and see how that works? I might do that actually. I'm gonna go in with Magic Trick, that one there. It's a blue and I'm, I mean, we've got some brights here, so why not? So I'm going in with Magic Trick. See how that works. 
when I said at the beginning um, that you know I was going to show you how to neutralize and usually what I do is is put a bright color down and then neutralize it with a brown I think I'm doing it the other way around aren't I because I'm putting I'm, I put like a neutral color first and then I'm going in with a blue now which is something totally different um, but I think you know you need to get out of your comfort zone now and again and we've got this beautiful palette why not Okay, and then the other eye. I love that navy. You don't very often see navy blues in a palette. It's usually either, you know, like, you know, the shade we've got here, that turquoise or royal blues, but you don't very often see navies. Um, and it's different to like a deep brown isn't it blending out very very nicely so it's adding I suppose a little bit of smokiness but it's not black and it's not brown so something you know different I think what I'm going to do is use my first brush Go back into Flawless and put that, whoop, without poking myself in the eye. Like that. a little bit of a base colour because what I want to do is bring that blue round I think okay so again I go into magic trick So totally different to what I would usually apply. But something totally different. And I think sometimes when you've got these palettes with lots of shades in, it's nice to play around, isn't it? I, like I say, I've got nothing in mind. I didn't know what I was going to create today. God, I'm absolutely loving that blue. That is just stunning. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I really want to go in with possession first. Possession, pos possession. The more I'm saying it, the more I'm saying it doesn't sound, I'm thinking it doesn't sound right. So it's that one there. And, oh, beautiful. Oh, that works beautifully together with that navy. Um, and this is another thing why it's so important to play around with makeup because it's the colours that you think, oh, they're not, you know, a bright, so that's not going to work. Um, but actually, they really do. Just blending it into that navy shade. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, that is stunning. I'm loving it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is swap to one of my favourite brushes of, of the moment is the 250 Pencil and Powder Smudge Brush from Primark. Really loving the point because I'm now going into the shade Divination. If I'm mispronouncing them, just forgive me. Um, 
the shade names I think are getting more and more difficult but you know the ones I'm talking about. Now I'm going to lighten the inner corner up, just blend it into the first shade and then go all the way round. Um, as with yesterday's palette, when you use your finger, I mean obviously I've swatched all of these shades, it looks like it's hard panned but then when you go into it again it loosens up because these are such beautiful um, powders. So don't be worried, um, you know, if they look like they've hard panned, it's fine. I'm just going over the top of divination, it's fine. Gorgeous. going to get my first brush with a little bit more of Flawless on. I'm bringing it quite low, I think I've brought it down a little bit too low on this side, but don't worry I'm just getting my brush that I used. In fact actually that will be fine. That's what I wanted. I wanted, I want drama basically. That's what I'm after today. I've got a very, very, very special birthday to go to tomorrow. Um, my younger son, so my baby is actually turning 21 tomorrow. So, yep, he's not gonna be a baby anymore. So, I think I might even recreate this tomorrow night. I really love that navy as the deeper colour. Just going to take that round a little bit more. Oh, obsessed. Okay, so that is the eye look complete, the eyeshadow look complete, using so far the Revolution Creative Volume 1 palette. I think what I want to do. Um, is because obviously I'm testing out a few things for tomorrow. I'm going to actually go in with a little bit of liner called the Liner Revolution. So I'm going to add a little bit of that onto the top line. Quite, um, quite thick. I usually actually don't go quite as thick as that, but that looks really good. Love that. Love that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of actual liner onto the waterline. Of course, I'm using my old favourite, and it is, of course, the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner. So I'm just going to apply that. But that's definitely added the drama. Now I'm going to add a little bit of mascara and I'm using the Mascara Revolution. So I've used the Liner Revolution, I'm now using the Mascara Revolution. Loving, obviously I'm obsessed with this mascara. I thought I'm, I've got yellow um, earrings, I've got ye a yellow top, I like this yellow top and I like to wear it if I'm going to do a bright eye, um, but I put the yellow earrings in thinking that I was going to go yellow, but I've really gone down a totally different route, And but I am obsessed with that, that navy colour, it is just 
beautiful. I'm just going to get a little bit more of divination. I want it to be a little bit more blurred as to where the shimmer, but oh, obsessed. Okay, so that is the eye look complete now. Now what I've, I've got to do is try and I brought all of my Supreme Matte Lip Pigments in to try and choose a lipstick um, from these. I think I might go for this one actually. What's this one called? Illusion. It's quite brown it might match the um, the base that I put on I'm gonna put this one on anyway so this is the supreme matte lip pigment from a revolution pro and it is a brown but I think like I say it's gonna match that base Okay, so that is the lipstick applied. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Apart from the fact I look slightly tired because of course I'm all over the place at the moment. I'm very, very busy. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving that eye look. I'm obsessed. So I think it's definitely inspired me to use different colours. I would love to hear your thoughts on this palette. First of all, what are you thinking to the packaging? Absolutely beautiful. I, like I say, it's definitely in my top two of the eyeshadows design, eyeshadow palette designs that they have released. What are you thinking to these shades? And I have used some different shades today, navy in the you know to deepen it up i never use navy um like i say you i never see it actually never see it in a palette so that is stunning and i've i what i've done is usually i will lay a bright shade down and then neutralize it with a brown i've done it the other way round so what i've done is i've laid down a neutral shade in that flawless so started off with that one there and then i went in with a navy which is totally different to, for me and then I went in with these shades here so um, possession and um, divination to create that beautiful peach so yeah absolutely obsessed with this palette it is stunning so whether you like brights or neutrals I would love to hear your thoughts on the shade range within here um, there are so so many combinations that I could have chosen but I've yeah, and I really love it. Like I say, I think I'm going to recreate it tomorrow evening on that special birthday for my son. So yeah, love your thoughts on all of that. Um, and the lipstick, what do you think of that? It was very, very difficult. I've got lots and lots of these lipsticks here and I thought surely one of those will um, match the look. And I think it does absolutely beautifully. And I think for £10 as well, you're getting a lot of eyeshadows for your money as well as that beautiful design there. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you today. Obviously keep your comments coming in and if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But as always, until tomorrow, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you, bye.